Japan had been forced to open up to foreign trade after Commodore Perry's visit in 1853. Fearing that they would be divided up by competing foreign powers, Japan embarked on a period of modernization known as the Meiji Reforms. During this period, which mainly lasted from 1868 when Emperor Meiji was restored, until 1890, a number of key changes were made. Firstly, in terms of political, a new political system was introduced. Japan became a constitutional monarchy with political parties, and a new constitution was established. Secondly, in terms of changes regarding the economy, Japan built railways, telegraph lines, shipyards, and textile factories. By doing so, Japan embraced Western industrialization. Thirdly, in regards to social changes, Japan ended the feudal system by abolishing the samurai class and recruiting peasants into the army. Fourthly, cultural changes included the introduction of a new education system which promoted and created nationalism and Japanese pride in their country. Furthermore, the implementation of conscription also increased national pride. Finally, when looking at changes to the military, Conscription was introduced, making military service compulsory for all adult males. Also, the Japanese Navy gained 28 modern warships. Overall, this meant that Japan's military increased during the period of Meiji reforms. So, in summary, did the Meiji reforms lead to Japan becoming recognized as a world power? On the one hand, Japan's status as a strong power improved significantly. Rapid modernization meant that it was able to avoid being divided up by the European powers, as China had been, being split up into colonies and spheres of influence. Therefore, Japan retained their independence. On the other hand, Japan was still not recognized as a world power, because although they had modernized significantly, it still lacked the level of military power which could rival the other imperial powers in Asia, such as Great Britain, France, Germany, and Russia. <laughs> Following the Meiji reforms comes the First Sino Japanese War, which lasts from 1894 to 1895. Please subscribe to be notified of future episodes. This is the end of the podcast. Thank you for listening.